Well, a number of cabinet ministers declined comment on the resignation of Dr. Dwayne Sands before the weekly cabinet meeting today, but Education Minister the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd insisted that Sands' departure is a great loss, as Cleopatra Murphy tells us. Minister of Education the Honorable Jeff Lloyd says the Bahamas lost a committed public servant responding to Monday's abrupt resignation of Minister of Health the Honorable Dr. Duane Sands. He tendered his resignation to Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis amidst brewing controversy over a decision he made to allow six American permanent residents into the country who brought in 2,500 COVID-19 test swab kits. I'm very sad that, uh, you know, such a uh, tremendously gifted, talented, um, and, and uh, um, uh, servants of the people who have contributed so much to this country over his lifetime and uh, as a member of this cabinet as um, the, these turns of events naturally I'm, I'm extraordinarily uh, grateful to uh, Dwayne Sands who is my brother and friend whom I love respect and admire tremendously for his uh, commitment to this country I'm, I'm greatly and the country is indebted to him for his contribution. The Progressive Liberal Party demanded Sands' resignation after he took responsibility for allowing what was at the time believed to be two American permanent residents into the country and allowing them to quarantine at home at a time when hundreds of Bahamians are stuck overseas with the country's borders ordered closed to passenger traffic due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis on Sunday revealed that six people got off the plane and protocol was breached. In his resignation letter Monday, Sands said he acted outside of the scope of his authority but acted in good faith to get the needed test kits, further noting, I believe that my continued presence in the cabinet may serve as a distraction from our efforts and hence I offer my resignation from your cabinet. Lloyd says he is grieving the Minister of Health's departure from Cabinet. Naturally, in these circumstances, there is an understandable and palpable grief, certainly in my heart. And he has, he has, been, a, he has been a stalwart of a contributor in this, in this land. Um, I don't know the circumstances except that which has been shared. And uh, I can only say to uh, him and his family the absolute best. Of course, as government, we will continue to serve the Bahamian people. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Lanisha Roll, while off-camera, clutched her chest and said she was hurt by Sands' resignation. Similarly, Minister of Immigration, the Honorable Elsworth Johnson, said he had nothing to say, but Dr. Sands is a decent and good man. Lloyd says every decision government has made has been with the objective of serving the Bahamian public. We have been honest, we have been transparent, we have been sincere, and as you can see, we have also been accountable. And I can say with out any fear of contradiction that not a single political organization in this country can say the same except the free national movement. Lloyd responded to whether he would have accepted Sanders' resignation. I am not in the PM's position and I cannot act as if I am in the PM's position so I cannot say anything to that, uh, to that degree. I can only speak to my own personal and I presume the members of our team as to how we this morning would have awakened and now negotiate what we now know to be the facts of life. He says that the current administration stands for accountability, questioning the record of political opponents. All of the naysayers, and you know precisely what I mean, who does not have a moral inch on which to stand, cannot say the same. And they have had the opportunity to demonstrate their moral fiber of accountability and integrity and have failed in every instance. So I don't even pay any attention to them in not the slightest piece of, of, uh, of, of credibility. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.